I'm too lazy to plug in my proper microphone, so we're just going to blast through this real quick. Uh, I finished it. I finished it. I finished the thing. This girl, I thought I thought I needed to make her room, and I was like, oh my god, that is like such a bad selfie angle, but it's this one. I needed to finish her room, and I need to do the master, and I need to do the upstairs. So then, you know, I was getting ready to jump into it, but I wanted to double check that I knew everyone's likes and dislikes and colors and, and stuff like that, and then I realized I totally forgot to do Turg. Turg doesn't like anything, um, so that's problematic. Turg needs to have opinions. He is not just a stereotypical trans cat boy. He has feelings and style and fashion, even if that is mostly just like 90s jeans he couldn't bring himself to get rid of and um clinging to skirts but uh yeah we got some and and, and the the we won't even talk about the swim shorts they're just ugly but you know we're, we're working with what we got here turg and um you deserve to have some uh some personality and and preferences although your preferences are pretty much going to be the same as your your husband's because um you all have the same fashion sense. Now we're jumping into the thing, and I just wanted to say that I'm going to uh, do this video with uh, my music that I've been making for my Bard Challenge. So it's going to get real wacky, and I hope you enjoy.
Okay, so that was 10 random sounds from me as part of my uh, bard challenge. A lot of them I have, like, really terrible poetry or singing, but there's this whole thing I'm doing. It's on SoundCloud and BandLab. Um, on SoundCloud, I'm Glip Paint. Anyway, so I finished, uh, I finished the farm on top. I finished my luxury mansion. Got myself some cows and some animals to see if that all worked. And the cows are fine. The cows are glorious. I'm like, look at this beautiful cow. I actually haven't like had a good close-up of the cows like I played with them a little bit on another lot but this is like my first time uh, doing that and this is also the first time that I discovered the flock of wild birds which I was like oh my gosh there's birds I love I love birds I love the idea of befriending a flock of birds that is so exciting oh my god Yes, and so I get like eight chickens and eight chickens, and so there's only like one third of the chicken capacity total because I have six chicken sheds. So I was like, yeah, we're gonna set this up. We're gonna get them chickens going and uh, like see how the Sims are doing. And look at Turk there; he's looking great in the in the living room area and the the son there um bishop he's uh he's barbecuing up a storm and all the all the chickens look at all the chickens they're so they're so cute i am in love with the chickens and apparently i just have spoiled food floating around because i'm like don't know what's going on anyways there you go bishop go back go up the stairs they they don't use the stairs inside the house like at all they're just like obsessed with the ladders i almost find that like annoying um I wish there was a feature where, oh my god, and the llama, look at the llama, it's so cute. I love the bedroom, super fancy with a giant waterfall and this like walk-through closet thing. Like I've never done anything like this before in my life. I just think it's like really glorious and ah, uh, there's Kyle brushing the cow and look how happy the cow is. And like the background and the scenery of having like the farm animals in the penthouse is just like, mmm, yes. And uh, the ch I didn't know that the chickens could just come inside. Are you going somewhere, chickens? Like, why are you waiting at the elevator? That doesn't make any sense. There's chickens in the background while the sisters are talking. Like, what is going on with these chickens? Anyways, if you enjoyed this video um, or hated it, I don't care. Just subscribe to me because I'm awesome. And follow me on all my other like places that I am on the inter on the internet because I am like a bajillion places on the internet. Um, and you can support my art, you can support my tarot, you can support me just playing The Sims, and you can support me making terrible music. And th and that's okay because just existing is enough and worthy and you are worthy and you are beautiful and we are all just wonderful the world is a better place with everyone in it and i'm gonna throw in a funny TikTok from my old account to the sleep paralysis demon underneath my bed oh come on No, I will not call my fucking ex.